got the call, our tub is done at Sandblast. So we are heading to pick it up. We got a lot of work ahead of us. What I'm planning on doing is the whole inside and the bottom side, like underneath the cap, I'm gonna do it a black Raptor liner. And then I think the dash, the firewall, and the whole outside is gonna be what we're doing for paint. So we got a lot of masking to do. I think I'm gonna do first, instead of trying to kind of paint or Raptor line the inside and the bottom side at the same time, I'm just gonna flip it up on end. We're gonna uh, epoxy prime the bottom, get that Raptor line, and then we'll set it down. Do the same thing on the inside, and then work on the outside and the, the uh, firewall and all that. I don't want to go through and epoxy prime everything right away because epoxy primer has a window of like seven days where you can actually top coat it without doing any sanding. You get a way better chemical adhesion, not mechanical. You get a chemical adhesion that is way better than sanding and it's just way less work. So that's kind of the game plan. What I like to do anyway is epoxy prime and then do my body work on top of that. So instead of doing uh, fillers and everything right on bare metal, there's a lot of people that think you can rust underneath the actual fillers. So that's kind of why I like to do the epoxy primer first and then do my filler work. And then we'll do our like our 2K high build primer on top of the filler. And then we go to paint. So that's kind of the game plan with it. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to get this thing painted. So let's go pick it up. Let's get in the shop. And we shouldn't really have to do much. I don't think he sandblasted the actual outside of the cab just because I've heard the horror stories of it warping body panels. So I think he just did the underside, the firewall, and the, uh, the inside. So we shouldn't have to do any prep. We should just be able to blow that off and go straight into our primer. Let's go straight. We'll, we'll be golden, dude. I know, I just turned it a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got it. Here, let me roll it just a little bit while you... There you go. Good job. Good job, Austin. Yay. Go far now. I want to blow my tranny up. Sounds good. It's really tight coming out. Oh. I wish you would give me some grippy gloves. Do you need some? I don't know. It'd be a lot better if you didn't have blocks in my way. <laughs> well, I had to set the back on Every a block. Every step I'm taking is... Oh, it's scratching the paint. Fresh paint job, dude. I'm bench pressing. Can you do the outside of it? No. Austin says it's gonna warp the metal. Now what? You just down. How? Just we don't. have nothing to set it on. That's fine. We're gonna. All right, you going? Just. Huh? You're gonna be in the air. Oh, never mind. Well, I thought we were off to the races on paint with this tub. We got a couple issues with sandblasting. We found a couple light spots in this tub and then I forgot about all the seam sealer. We got to pop out of all the, all the seams on this thing. I want to re-seam seal it. So we got a few things to do to this thing before we can jump into paint. So all in all, sandblasting turned out actually really nice. They got the whole 
inside the whole bottom side like I said I didn't want them to do the panels on the outside because I mean it's clean it's all new and the sandblasting can actually warp um, I'd say bigger panels without much structure to them they can actually warp on the inside I'm not worried about that so we got some light spots we got right there we found a hole right there we found a hole and a little bit on the bottom of this rocker here so i want to patch all that back in not a huge deal i mean just cut this out repatch that in uh this one should be oh yeah that should be pretty easy i'm just probably gonna just go all the way down to the floor again with that one little patch there and then all this seam sealer let's scrape all that out all that out on there and then we should be pretty much ready for paint uh now that it's standing on end it's actually going to be i think we can actually do the inside and the bottom side as is and the cool thing about it with this with this transmission tunnel opening i can get all the way up underneath this dash right here with all my paint
Oh my gosh, guys, that was a lot of work, but it turned out freaking amazing. This is a, a matte metallic, like super, super dark gray. It honestly looks kind of black-ish. It's pretty dark, but you can see in the sun here, I got a little bit of sun coming through. It's very metallic. Let me grab a light and show you this is actually the custom shop uh, from TCP global seems like really good paint a lot of good reviews on it for the price anyway but look at that metallic it looks so good this thing's gonna look sweet out once it's back together out in the Sun now a lot of people I looked up I kind of did a little research on this paint a lot of people say this stuff is a nightmare to spray I don't really i don't know it sprayed pretty good for me the metallics laid down really nice i mean you can see how it's not blotchy at all so i'm super super happy with it we got a ton more work to do on everything else but the main part is done we are done 100 percent obviously raptor lined the entire inside the bottom side i know you're going to comment if you guys saw the little little imperfections here and there all that middle seam right there is all covered up by the whole radio bezel so i didn't want to do any you know fillers or anything there i just left it it's going to be covered up anyway um as far as body work actually turned out pretty decent i figured with a flat you're not going to see a lot of it i didn't spend you know way too much time on it like i did the last paint job i did but it honestly looks really good there's i mean the, the rocker panels aren't perfect up top you can kind of see a little bit wavy because i you know i made those from scratch and i bent it all with a freaking hammer so you got to kind of expect some of it but all in all i'm i'm very very happy with how it turned out looks so good i cannot wait to get this thing together now well guys we got a ton more work like i said to get the rest of this thing painted we got front doors rear doors like the top roof sides uh we got front fenders there's two pieces of the front fenders we are pretty much done with body work at least all the rust is taken care of there's a little banging around we got to do on the front fenders hopefully we can you know hammer dolly out some of the dents and get those straightened out i'm not going 
for a show, you know, I'm not going for perfect, but I want it straight. I don't want, you know, dents all over it. The cab or the tub itself looks really good. So I'm going to try to, I mean, like I said, I'm not going for perfect, but I want it nice enough anyway. So we got a ton more work, but like I said, tub is done turned out perfect well guys i am gonna wrap this video up here i really hope you enjoyed it i want you to go smash that thumbs up button comment subscribe we'll catch you in the next one